It turns out rice is a lot more than just a high carb food staple. It's also a great beauty product. It's recently gained a lot of popularity, but has been used in Japan and China as a hair growth and strengthening aid for centuries. With average lengths of six feet, till this day, Chinese Yao women are said to have the longest hair in the world. Before I go over how to properly prepare and use rice water, let's go over all its scientifically proven benefits to your hair. According to a study done by a synchrotron radiation facility in Japan, it's found that there's an ingredient in rice water called inositol that benefits your hair in two ways. First, it helps increase your hair's elasticity, meaning it makes your hair more flexible and helps to find your curl pattern. Inositol also decreases your hair's surface friction, which means it helps to smooth out the surface of your hair so your hair strands can glide past each other without having too much resistance. This is important because less friction means less knots and tangles. Another great detail that was found is its ability to stay inside your hair and continue to work even after you've rinsed it out. So you'll notice some improvements after the first use. So there's a bit of a debate on whether to wash, ferment, or boil. But you'll be pleased to know that all these options are correct and beneficial to your hair. There's actually many ways to prepare rice water. You can use any kind of rice you like. Just make sure to use only organic rice. First, rinse the rice with water to remove any dirt. Then place the rice in a bowl and cover it with water. Don't get too wrapped up on the measurements. Just make sure the water completely covers the rice. Let it soak for 30 to 40 minutes. Make sure you swirl it around a few times to help the micronutrients release into the water. After 30 minutes or so, confirm that the water is cloudy. Then thoroughly strain out the rice water into a separate bowl. At this point, you can use this rice water as is. For enhanced benefits, you can continue to ferment the rice water you just collected. It's simple, just let the rice water sit in a dark, room temperature to warm area until it's a little sour. The sour taste indicates that the rice water has begun to ferment. This will usually take about a day or two to happen. Just keep in mind, the warmer the room, the faster it will start to ferment. So you can use the fermentated water as is, or if you plan on storing it, you can boil it first to stop the fermentation process. If the rice water is too potent for you, you can also dilute it with water. Don't worry, it won't stop it from working. If you wanna make the process quicker, you can try the boiling method. It's super easy. Just mix rice and water into a cooking pot. Again, don't get too caught up on the measurements. Just make sure you're using more water than you normally would use if you're cooking the rice to eat. Once it starts to boil, you have two options. You can either use it as is by removing it from the fire, letting it cool, and straining out the rice water. Or you can leave it on the fire and let the rice fully cook. Let it cool, strain out the rice water, and use. You're free to dilute the rice water by adding more water if you wish. It'll still work. For all the prep methods, you can store the rice water in the fridge for three to five days. But each time you use it, make sure you shake it first. It's best to do a rice water rinse on hair that's clean and free of product buildup. After washing your hair, coat your hair and scalp with the rice water. If the rice water doesn't coat your hair evenly, it can cause flakes. So use a kinky friendly brush to brush it in. This way you can make sure that every hair strand is coated. Cover your hair with a shower cap and let it sit for 20 to 30 minutes. Then rinse it out. You probably won't need to, but if you want, you can proceed to condition your hair. Most of the work is in making the rice water 
but using it is pretty simple. Oh, rice water has a high amount of protein, 16% to be exact. It's pretty much a protein treatment. So you may want to skip using it on a real protein treatment week. Rinsing your hair with rice water is a beneficial addition to your healthy hair regimen. But don't expect it to make your hair six feet long like the Yao women in China. Not only do these women live in remote, preserved areas of the world, they also have an organic diet. They are very active. They wash their hair with natural spring water that has tons of micronutrients and vitamins in it and they're way less exposed to toxins and pollution than we are. I'm not saying not to try it out, just have more realistic expectations and treat it as a nice addition to your already established healthy hair regimen. I'm curious, let me know below if you plan on trying it. And if you already do, let me know how you make your rice water and how it's been working for you. As always, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.